Medical sociology is the study of the health of an entire society. If you think about a doctor who will want to gather information about an individual so that they can diagnose what may be going on with them and plan a treatment, medical sociologists look at the health status of any kind of population, a community, a neighborhood, a city, a state, a country, the globe, and they look at all of the different prevalences of diseases and how they're spread out across that society to then diagnose what might be underlying causes that are contributing or producing those health inequalities. In sociology, we are comparing groups, we are comparing social statuses, we are looking at different geographical locations, not to say that the people that are part of that group are similar to each other. We're looking at the big picture to identify patterns in health. One of the most prevalent theories in medical sociology is called fundamental cause theory. And that's a theory that tries to explain why we have so many health inequalities. In other words, from population to population, from society to society, we see very different patterns of health and illness. The underlying causes that can contribute to how vulnerable a community is to different health conditions are things like socioeconomic status, resources, people's prestige, their knowledge, their social power, and their social connections. So that means if you're part of a community that has a high socioeconomic status, that's a combination of your income, your wealth, your occupation, and your prestige. Are you looked upon as having a high status in society? All of that collectively creates a breeding ground for either positive health or the negative health conditions. And remember, it doesn't mean that if you are fitting into these types of categories that you will automatically have better or worse health. This is really looking at the big picture. And when it comes to things like COVID that are affecting people with underlying chronic illnesses disproportionately, we can look at that at the community level too. If there are these underlying conditions in society that have to do with things like the economic and social structure, we're gonna see a higher rate of COVID as a condition and also as a cause of death. So keep in mind, it's not just individual factors. We have underlying conditions in our entire population that are also affecting our collective well-being.